Dad said it's Claudia who invite me to come here and to see if I can do a project. And then I came here in November, last November 2016, and I visit the place, I look to the museum, what's happening there, the architecture, the people, etc., etc. And so, I knew the light outdoor would be for sure much better. So I was more thinking in doing something uh, outdoor. Here it's almost a, a mixture between uh, what I call work in situ, which is uh, very specific to the place and born and usually died after the work. And the idea of situated work, which means that uh, the situation of the work, it's also part of the work. So it's very, very close to in situ, except when I said situated works, it's usually with the idea it's possible to take some of these objects to do something else. When I realized that the architecture was, you like it or not, but the base to even put a piece of painting or whatsoever the painting on the wall, I became really interested to know what can we do with this wall. So, of course, it's a lot of thing behind, but it means that the architecture is the first thing which make possible the way to uh, make some visitors able to look to a, to a work. And then from one point to another, so what's happening around the painting? Is it part of the painting or it's absolutely with nothing to do with it? For me, it was a first question about how is it possible to give to the people a bigger angle to see what's happening. So from that, I started to work to see how can we introduce not an object which will narrow your, your view to this object, but something which will make you attentive of a huge spectrum. mainly done with, uh, with the use of the sun. But that's also what I am interested in, the risk and the interest of uh, the perception of the natural light and, uh, and life, etc., which is in fact uh, one of the ba basic uh, critique for me about the museum, which always try to make the thing completely pristine, and uh, control. That's why most of the museum have almost uh, no natural light and they prefer to work with electricity. So, well, for that reason, working outdoor, it's always taking care of the light. It was 
completely working with the clouds, with the sky and with the sun. Normally to see a painting you have to be in front and you have to stop and you have to take attention and more or less not moving. With a work like the one I did here and it's a characteristic of 99-98% uh, of my works if you don't take the energy or the curiosity to see around or to walk where these lines uh, lead you, I guess uh, it's just you are not interested, okay? Or you did not see the work. You have to see it and you have to look to all the possible uh, elements and all the point of view. When the work is done, it's totally open to anyone to get either to like the fact it's always different or to only like one point of view and to say this is the best, the rest is not so interesting. So automatically it takes the architecture, it takes the people, it takes uh, uh, the way where you are uh, and it changes, I guess, a lot of uh, parameters in order to see what is given to see.